G'day guys, next up I've got Jamie Cool from the Microsoft Visual Studio team. He's gonna show us all the great new developer features in the 2012 release. Check it out. So uh, Jamie, uh, what do you do at Microsoft? Yeah, so I'm a PM in the Team Foundation server mm -hmm. team, and I work on uh, the pieces of TFS that developers use. So version control, build, uh, Team Explorer everywhere, some of the web access pieces, those are kind of my areas. Basically, if it's about developers and TFS, that's what I do. All right, so uh, we're gonna have a, a, the first look at uh, Visual Studio 2012 beta. Sounds good. Okay. Well, we'll just dive into it? Yes, yes, please. All right, so, uh, you know, the thing you're seeing on the screen is a new Team Explorer. Right. right. Now, the question is, why do we have a new Team Explorer? Well, we had a bunch of things we were trying to do this release for developers. We were trying to, overall, simplify, get out of the way, make the experiences for developers better. And one of the biggest pain points we heard over and over again with uh, TFS was, around modal dialogues and synchronous blocking UI. So we wanted to go through and just clean up as much of that as we could and collapse it, right? right. It's, it's one thing to say that I want to get rid of modal dialogues, yes. but to get rid of modal dialogues, I need to have somewhere to put them. Right. So that's where the new Team Explorer comes into. It gives us a place to go do that. So what it is, is it's a tool window in Visual Studio, but it's not just a tool window. It actually has a set of tool windows inside of it with its own navigation model. Right. So okay. the home page you're looking at here is showing me what uh, the top level pages are for each of the each of the sections. So I can look at my work, which we'll talk about a little later. Yep. Pending changes is also now moved into Team Explorer. Work items, builds, all of these are kind of hubs as part of it. Can I just uh, I just noticed one thing. I love the counts on the right hand side. Yep. Um, the closed ones there, um, yep. they kind of would be great if they were struck through, so you're not really looking at any of the ones done. Yeah, that's mm. that's that's not a bad idea. You know, <laughs> one of the things that we were trying to do with this. Mm is make it so that if you think about the old Team Explorer, yes. it was just a navigation experience, right? Like you, you basically not find the tree query or whatever you want to and you mm. just navigate to it. We're, now that we've moved beyond just a tree control though, we can actually do more with it. So in this case, you see work item favorites, yes. which people didn't all, often use because they weren't very discoverable and didn't give you as much. Now when you make something a favorite, uh, you know, if I say I want to make my backlog the favorite, I can just drag it up here to my favorites and you'll see that eventually we'll do the query and give it to you, and you don't even have to open it to see some first level of data about it. Another interesting feature that we added as part of this that's been a top request one with search. Oh, search, right, okay, yeah. oh, great, or oh, filter. Yeah, so filter, search, whatever, you, whatever mm. you want to think about it, but it makes it easy to find work items. Oh, right. Right, so if I want to go here and like I have, uh, uh, you know, I want to find something called login, you know, all work items related to login. I can oh, that, that is search. great, I found my, uh, I was so happy the day I found myself a little extension for Visual Studio 2010 yeah. for that. Yes, and now we have that uh, built in as part of it. And again, you can see I'm going through these work items and they're opening in yes. the preview pane. Ah, so right. you know, I, don't have to, I don't have to go through and, and uh, open up a bunch of tabs. So what if I want to open, open both of them? How do I, you, it keeps overriding the window. If you want to have both of them open, yeah. um, you can click there and it promotes it. Ah, oh, okay, fair yeah. enough. Okay. And uh, you can also do interesting things like there's a whole uh, little mini language so oh. I can do assign to everything assigned to me, and that'll do a query and. So that's just like Outlook. Yes, very similar. So very similar. And how do I know all the keywords like from well, from colon? Can I use title colon or something? Uh, there's a set of built-in ones uh, that we make it easy to get mm -hmm. to, and then there's a few other ones that once you that advanced ones that you know empower users like yourself right. <laughs> will learn, use, and, and share with others. Right. Uh, why can't you give us a little three dots there and tell us the rest of them? Uh, <laughs> okay. Good question. <laughs> All right. So you asked about diff, right? Yes. So That's what I'm after. You see this link to the change set? Yeah. Let me open that change set. You see how the change set's going to open up in Team Explorer? And this is going to show me, here's my comment, here's all the changes yes. that I made as part of it. Now, it used to be, think about, let's say I wanted to view a file that I checked in as part of a change set. What, what, what would that have been before? Would in Visual Studio, mm. yep. right, with whatever, like let's say you're doing using find change set, mm. with find change set or whatever that other dialog is, with the change set details dialog, yeah. with either Notepad or another instance of Visual Studio to actually view the file. Mm. Now, my change sets are listed over there, and I just click on them, and by default we give you a diff view, and it's showing up right in line with my editor. So and you've done a whole new diff view. 
And we've done a whole new diff view inside of Visual Studio, integrated with the editor as part of it. Uh, in this case, you're getting side-by-side -side view. Uh, some people really like uh, the inline view. So you can, you can do it this way and get you to see your changes in line as well. Um, now, in yep. this case, I'm looking at a change set. Yes. Change sets are read only, right? So this yep. is a very interesting. So let's, let's get out of this. Let me actually go over here and let's just, let's make some changes, right? Like let's, let's delete that. We don't need that namespace. And <laughs> uh, that might break a few things. You know, change this. Maybe I'll delete this. Right, yeah. Right, I'm just making changes. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's go ahead and do a compare here, which will also use the new diff view. And let's switch over to side by side. I, uh, I prefer side by side myself. And again, I'm getting the diff view, and you can see it's highlighting individual words that have changed as part of it. But it, the cool thing is it's live. So I can come in here and just start typing, and it's updating the diff dynamically. All right. What's now, what's really powerful about this, if you look at diff tools you use, diff tools are really like 25% about the diff and 75% trying to give you a decent editor. But we don't just have a decent editor, we have the best editor, right? So all of the stuff you're used to, you know, all the complete, ah, right, right, the whole you know, thing. The whole thing is there as part of oh, it. So yeah. you can use diff with the full Visual Studio editor. Okay, so uh, can we move on to? We can move on. Great, uh, my work. Okay, my Because I think this is gonna be kind of, a uh, golden jewel where when people will see this and they get used to it, they won't want to go back to an older version. Yeah, that's what we're mm. hoping. You know, the, the, you know, there, my work is trying to solve a set of problems. Generally, the way people work today, how do they work? You know, developers... What they, are, have what? Their, they have their stand-up, they work out what they've got to yep. do, and then they can open up Visual Studio. Yeah, yeah. And then they kind of just start banging away code. Yep. And then when they're done banging away code, they're about to check in. And when they're about to check in, they go, oh, I should re associate a work item here as part of this. That's right. right. And maybe they remember to go do yep. that. Um, but this is kind of trying to make you work task folks first, right? So we have a bunch of new Agile tools in yes. the product as well. So if you go look here, I can yes. see that this is my Agile task board, right? So I'm yep. in Sprint 1. I can see I've got six tasks. In this case, you know. And this is what you should open for the daily stand-up. This is yep. what you open for the daily stand-up. I go, I talk about it. You know, in this case, you can see everyone's assigned to Jamie. I don't have a yes. bunch of users here. But I have six, six stories yes. that are assigned to me, right? And now I go back to Visual Studio. Hold, hold on, now yeah. you tell us what you're gonna work on that day and we move that over to in progress, wouldn't we? That is, you know, now, you're just, now you're just being difficult, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, you could do that, right? You, right. Could, you could do it. Or ideally, you know, whatever you're working on, you've already moved to in progress, you know, because oh, you're working on it. Oh, from the day before, it, right? yep, yeah, that's right. Um, but, you know, once you go to Visual Studio, you can see these are those same six items, right? And All we right. have a set of built-in views that these these views will give you back whatever is on your task board, you know, for the current, for basically all sprints, right, or just for the current one. You can also customize it. So I could switch over and show me all work items. And, you know, I can, although I just uh, was playing around with it before, uh, let me customize this. I can actually create whatever custom query I want. So in, in here I have this random ID clause. If I delete that and save this, now this is a query that's returning a whole set of work items. Right, yep. And now over here, it'll also uh, return a whole, you know, a whole set as well. So this is basically saying I can customize what I want my work to be. But right. out of the box, we give you easy ways to have it be your, te your agile work. Your and they're work. the exact same ones that I saw over on the so task board. That's right, that's okay. right. It's all tied into the Agile metadata. So I'm going to request a review to get a code okay. review before I check this in. So I'm going to enter some reviewers and uh, I'm going to alter in my alternate personality, Raleigh Hokey. Okay. Raleigh's where I live. Hokey's, you know, because I went to Virginia Tech and Hokey's our mascot. Okay, all right. And <laughs> uh, how about Ewald? He's right, awesome. yes. I hope you one of our reviewers. And then uh, a subject, uh, awesome. Demo can you, you can put anyone's email address there? Uh, anybody that's a member of your team project. Right, okay. And those are the folks that can do reviews. And, you know, then I can think of a description, check out, you know, these awesome changes, and then send the request off. And this uses the work item tracking system in the back end. We basically wrapped a, a custom workflow on top of them. So 
Uh, each user will get, the, get a work item assigned to them, but we bundle it, we bundle the workflow together so it's kind of an integrated experience as we go through. There, we also use email notifications as well, so uh, each person will get email updates whenever the code review state changes. Well, thank you, Jamie, yeah. for taking us through this. I'm really looking to, forward to installing this and having a play with it. All right, sounds good. Cheers. Before you go, I've got a task for you. Go to tv.ssw.com and subscribe to our newsletter. You'll be informed of all upcoming videos. In addition, if you're super keen, I'm all about inspecting and adapting. So send me an email or send me a tweet at Adam Kogan. Cheers. G'day guys, uh, today I'm here with Jamie Cool from the Visual Studio team. Hey Jamie. Hey, how's it going? All right, so uh, we've got some cool things to talk about, and uh, I, I got I got to start. I can't, can't use that word with you. No, sorry. you can. You know, it just makes it, it makes it more colorful. I get it all the time. Right. Okay. Now you're supposed to say, "I bet you hear that all the time," because you know what? I do. Right. Okay. All right. That's great. All right.